a little recipe in my crock pot. So we uh, cut up some carrots, some potatoes, and I have some whole potatoes. These ones are getting older and they're starting to shrink and shrivel. These are really good when they're cooked up in a crock pot. And I got some onions. And I got some fairly fresh ones. I got some garlic. There's a full clove of garlic here. And I'm gonna probably use only like half of it in this one. And I'm gonna add a bay leaf. And I got some old bay. My friend Jamie showed me this trick. I'm gonna coat the bottom of my pan with old bay. not going fast enough for me. Cool it up good. There we go. You can't really see that much. I'll show you that real quick. Sorry about that noise. I'm using plates as my camera holder. So uh, anyway there that's in there. Uh, what I'm cooking here is beaver that I trapped on a trap line. And, uh, I kept the fur, and this is, I don't know, probably part of its backbone or leg. Put that in there. Put it down inside, and then I'm going to put one of these down there, and maybe put one over here. Stick one of these, and I don't know, I'm going to take my knife here and get a few of those on to the side here. Take this knife here, just cut it down. Put that one there. Bring it up. This one we're gonna cut in half this way. There we go, put that in there. Now we'll throw a whole one in there. Now we'll throw a whole one of these in there. Another potato. And uh, yeah, these are a little big. We'll probably cut these in half. They're nice when they come out with big chunks in them. Cut these two, they'll probably cook a little bit faster. Go. Yeah, leave my knife on the board and I'm just slicing it down. Go. Put this in here. Go like that. Take my garlic. Take these off. Put this to the side, put this fresh ball back. My knife down here, put this on the way. Put this on the board with it tight and then press down on it. Press down on that, and that breaks the skin just a little bit. Put them up in there. It'll help them cook a little bit better rather than having to come up with all those skins on there. Now they've been broken open. And then just put some more of this back over the top. A little bit more of that over the top of that. Now we're going to add uh, maybe a. Usually I add about uh, a glass of wine or one full beer. And, but I don't have any beer and I don't have any wine. So we're going to use milk instead since it's a substitute. I'm just going to pour it on there. We'll do the same thing. It's about right. Maybe a little bit more. And then I add Italian dressing. Put that. Kind of shake that around there. Put it in there. I'm going to add... Uh, bay leaf or two. These are really good for stews. Put those in there. I'm going to add uh, a little bit of ground nutmeg. Not a lot. That's about right. I'm going to add some thyme. That's about right. I'm not giving you portions. You're going to just kind of, kind of look at what else. This is kind of how I cook. I just kind of grab things and Look and see what I've got. A little allspice. I like to look at my hand first and see how much is in there, and then I go, yeah, that's me right. And get a tiny 
going to sage a little bit. good that'll work that's that'll be good so that's right there and then one of the things I do on top of that is then I bring water up to this level so I have this pot here don't have all that much water in there you see how the water comes up Up a little bit just so it covers the meat like that. There we go. And there we have our stew that's going to go in the crock pot. And I'm going to cook that for 24 to 48 hours on uh, medium. Sometimes I bring it to high quick, come in the morning, it comes up to boil pretty quick, and then I bring it, drop it back down to medium. And I'll leave the first 24 hours on medium, next 24 hours on low. It seems like the longer it cooks, the better it tastes. But you can eat it tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, this will be ready to go. Anyway, it's a quick, easy beaver, raccoon, squirrel. I cooked all uh, um, roast of uh, venison. They all work this good this way. Anyway, the thing that I forgot to mention was that I put a little one cube of vegetable bouillon in there. And it seems to help a little bit with my overalls seasoning and stuff so there we go one cube and she goes in so it's been almost 24 hours looking pretty good there Some potatoes there's enough in the mouth beaver right there looks like roast beef Very, very good. Some bay leaf. That's 24 hours right there. Put it on the plate and show you in a second. So there we go. Got some good eats right there. That's, that's beaver right there. Looking good. Delicious. It's onion. Potato. Ready to go. That's dinner. And uh, one of the things I do is after I'm completely sure the, all the ingredients are gone, I save the broth. And I put in a little bit of stove top stuffing. Let it soak in there. Make stuffing with the, with the broth. It is amazing. It's just so good. Anyway, that's a quick, easy dinner. The crock pot. Have today.